Hi folks. It has been clear over the events of the last few days that our Second Amendment is under assault. We are living in a day when I believe that as a gun owner, our rights are being threatened. There may be a day, I might not see it in my lifetime, when guns may be confiscated and you will not have that option to protect yourself or your family from a violent attacker. So today I thought I would start a series on common household items that could be used to defend yourself against attack. One such item can be found in your kitchen drawer. This is the standard kitchen whisk. Looks harmless enough, but if used correctly, can thwart a violent attack. Now some features that I think will be attractive to liberals and pacifists will be the fact that it has no sharp edges. Okay, look at this. Poke myself in the eye with this thing. I can't hurt myself with this if I tried. So I think that would be very attractive. It will not penetrate the cranium. It won't poke out your eye. And actually you're in very little danger of a permanent physical disability from the use of this thing. However, if used properly against a violent attacker, this might clearly save your life or the life of a friend or family member. Now, element of surprise. This is why, I mean, I carry a gun, okay? I believe that concealed handguns um, are one of the best defense. Now, there's clearly a lot of progressives and liberals and anti-gun people that don't share my view. And it just so happens that those who are in power right now in our government seem to be comprised of that particular group of individuals. So, I'm offering an alternative. Concealed carry is effective because of the element of the surprise. Um, statistics have shown that in states that have adopted concealed carry laws, that certain types of crime go down, like carjackings, assaults, abductions, rapes, and that kind of thing. But I don't want to confuse anyone with the facts here. But the reason that concealed carry is so effective is because of the element of surprise. So imagine, if you will, you're walking down the mall with your wife and your family, and a masked assailant comes up with a knife or a gun and, and wants your money. <laughs> imagine how surprised you'll be if you calmly just reach under your jacket, or into your purse and pull out one of these babies. <laughs> He's not gonna be expecting that at all. But the important part if you're gonna use a whisk is you must maintain your resolve. It's very important that you don't let them see a sweat. You don't let them see the fear. You simply pull this from your purse and you stand your ground. Well, first of all, it's going to take this guy by surprise. There he stands with his pistol or his knife, and he's going to go, who is this crazy individual with a kitchen whisk? You know, that would be a good question on his part, because who's going to bring a kitchen whisk to a gunfight? Virtually nobody would. But that's the element of surprise. You've taken him off balance by your willingness to use a common household item to defend your family, okay? So some tips in using the whisk. Stand there, okay? First of all, <clears throat> let me give you a little tip that I learned in concealed carry class. It's kind of like the distraction. It's kind of like uh, what uh, magicians do to uh, d distract you using this hand while they're doing something over here. So <clears throat> clearly, Take a solid stance, put this hand forward, distracting him from the fact that you are going after your whisk. Okay? All right, that's the first thing you do. All right? Then, make a calculated series. If you swirl the rest, okay, swirl the whisk. 
make a calculated series of lunges with the whisk, lunges, brutal lunges, toward the assailant's face. Try to, try to aim toward the assailant's face with the whisk. Okay, all right. Now, to date, there's no law against the concerry, uh, or the concealed carry of a whisk or any other kitchen implement that I know of. There's other things you could use. The wooden spoon, I'm telling you what. Though you can bludgeon somebody pretty good with a wooden spoon. I think this is a better option because it's safer. Now, whisks come in various sizes, okay? This is probably a little too large and cumbersome to carry in your purse or inside of your coat pocket. So I would suggest a more concealable version of the whisk. Don't, don't be fooled by the size. This whisk can be just as effective in warding off an assailant than this whisk. Much easier to carry. Most women could put this in their purse. They even make smaller versions of this. Most women could put this in their purse. Um, most women could, uh, most, most guys could conceal it in their coat. So this might be a good option. <clears throat> so the kitchen whisk, let's review what we've learned. Okay, the element of surprise. Maintain your calm when you're confronted by a potentially violent uh, assailant or a deranged killer. Maintain your calm, okay? It's all a psychological thing. Distract and grab the whisk. Look your assailant in the eyes and let him know that you mean business. And if he continues on the attack, then you begin to lunge at him with all that you have with your whisk. Don't forget the circular motions. This often distracts. You know, it's kind of, kind of like that dog when you're waving the toy. You know, a lot of these guys are distracted. Make sure you use the, uh, the, the swirls. And, and when you have them distracted, then you make the lunge, usually at the face, the face and the eyes, okay? But the good thing about the whisk is it won't cause any permanent injury to the assailant, which really, if he survives in this day and age of litigation, if he survives, he really won't have much recourse to sue you because you haven't caused, I mean, what's he going to go to court and say, but he attacked me with a whisk. <laughs> Most judges would laugh right out of the court with that deal, wouldn't they? So um, I've been thinking uh, about creating a series of these videos. Now, again, I would say buy a gun, go out and get trained, because a gun still is the most effective deterrent against a violent attack. But if, um, if a gun is not an option, or, or maybe you just prefer not to own a firearm, I think the kitchen whisk is a very, very effective alternative to uh, uh, to anything else. So if this has been helpful, please let me know. I'm going to plan a, another series of, uh, uh, of videos uh, in the days to come um, demonstrating the utilization of common everyday household items that you can use to defend yourself against violence. Thank you very much. Be safe and may God bless.